bad, evil, sinful, disagreeable, unpleasant or disturbing. As the ill-fated frontman of Australian pop group In Excess, Michael Hutchins steered them to become an international sensation in the 80s and 90s, and his dark good looks, charisma and powerful stage presence made him one of the rock world's most enduring stars. On November 22 in 1997, Michael was found dead in his suite at Sydney's Ritz-Carlton Hotel of a suspected suicide. Blood tests revealed the presence of alcohol, cocaine and prescription drugs as his death was mourned all over the world. In 1989, Australia's bad boy of rock began a highly publicised relationship with Kylie Minogue, helping to transform her image from girl next door into a sexy, edgy, dance-oriented pop diva. Their relationship helped Kylie gain acceptance as a mature performer, with Michael saying his favourite hobby was corrupting Kylie, and he wrote hit song Suicide Blonde in reference to her. Kylie credits Michael with turning her into the woman she is today. Their relationship ended when it was revealed he had been cheating on her with model Helena Christensen, but it was with British TV presenter Paula Yates that he found true happiness. After falling in love during an interview, Paula, who was married to Bob Geldof at the time, divorced him and had a daughter with Michael. After his death, she never recovered and died of a heroin overdose in 2000. In Excess formed in the late 1970s in Perth and they found international fame in 1988 with their breakthrough album Kick, which sold 9 million copies and gave them the hit singles Never Tear Us Apart and New Sensation. The band had just completed their new album, Elegantly Wasted, and was preparing to go on tour when Michael took his own life. After the death of both Michael and Paula, their daughter Heavenly Hirani Tiger Lily, known as Tiger, was suddenly orphaned. With Bob Geldof having been granted custody of his and Paula's three daughters, he became the legal guardian of Tiger after Paula's death, believing that she should be raised with her three half-sisters. In Excess returned to the news in 2004 when their new frontman JD Fortune was found thanks to reality show rock star In Excess. Drummer John Farris dismissed criticism that choosing his replacement via a reality show was disrespectful to Michael's memory. Oh, I think he'd, he'd be uh, thinking it was fantastic. I mean, it really is quite um, uncanny, some of the, the, uh, the, the, yeah. the synchronicity of things that had occurred during the filming of the show, and even now since um, JD's been on board, that there's definitely some approval um, and you can just feel it. The Canadian singer's integration into the Australian outfit was helped by the uncanny similarities between his vocals and that of the late star. Michael's charisma and bad boy sex appeal was the key to the initial success of the band, and critics believe that JD, while not being as raw as Michael, certainly has an appeal of his own. With the face and voice closest to the ex-frontman, plus an attitude to challenge Michael's dangerous ways, JD seemed like the perfect fill-in for the beloved star. As the sexy and charismatic frontman, Michael Hutchins was one of the biggest stars the Australian music scene ever produced. A gifted vocalist, this bad boy had fame, fortune and a family that he adored. His death was dramatic, even by rock star standards. But even today, his musical legacy remains.